Hello everyone and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we are putting the flooring in. As you can see, I've already, let's see if I can figure out how to point to it on camera. I've already got the USB up there. I made my marks. Now I've got to transfer the marks to the top and then take my chalk line and lay it out, snap a chalk line that I can cut from the top because it's hard to get a full sheet up there by yourself. So, I think the first thing that I am on is a search for a circular saw. I think Dad may have come in here and got it. So I've got to go find it. But I think first we'll go ahead and, and jump up there and make our marks. Uh, I'm going to work on this end down here. And I've already made my bottom mark. And I just have to transfer it up to my top. So what I'll do is I'll run this just like this. I'll scooch it down that way. Or I can get right up here and mark it on the top. And then I'll go ahead and get my chalk line set to that mark on the top. This sure isn't easy. I don't even know if you guys can even see me. And now I got to move my ladder so I can finish stretching out the chalk line. Probably gonna have to move my ladder all two or three times. Now I can get down there, <clears throat> probably just use the stairs going up steps, or up the stairs, the steps going up the stairs, whatever. <laughs> All right, now I can pull this chalk line tight to right here, just like that, and snap it a couple times. All right, now uh, I've got a good chalk line mark. I'll roll up my chalk line here. My chalk line is not, I think I want to get a new chalk line. It's not doing very well. It's not wanting to roll up very well. It's not wanting to come out very well. All right. So now that we got that, now let's go find a saw and we'll get up there and we'll cut that thing. All right, and I've already started cutting. Let me get you guys angled up there where you can see what I'm seeing. This tripod leaves a little bit desired especially when it comes to tilting backwards. So, I think the first thing, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, fire the cameraman. All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to angle you guys up there, but perhaps you can see through that. So I've already gotten a little over halfway through. As you can see down here, I've got a piece of thin board wedged in there. So that's kind of my hands to hold it on this side. So let me go ahead and move this saw or the splatter forward. And we'll see if we can't get on down there a little bit farther. I try to get up over here, over top of it. Positioning here that way I can make sure I got a good hold of everything you See how that's still holding that down at the other end 
Now I can slide it off that. Well, let's get down a couple steps. Then I can slide it off that, like that, and then I can drop my board. And it just kind of helps like a third hand. And you can kind of see here what I had. Just a thin piece of wood laying on top, not nailed down or nothing. All right, let's get that saw down. And then while we're up here, we'll go ahead and see if this fits over in there nice and good. Yes, sir, I think so. That right there is ready to be screwed down. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go ahead and go up <clears throat> this uh, set of steps over here and see how wide that is, just roughly. <clears throat> Do -do 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 -do. Hopefully it's less than 15 and a half. And it is. <clears throat> so that piece there can go here. Um, I might want to add some braces to that. Yeah. So I need to add some braces. All right. So let's jump up top. All right. Let's go ahead and get some screws in this thing. And right now I'm working off the ladder. And I've already got my marks. I did that off camera. I went and marked it, uh... With a black magic marker so i'd know where my cross beams are so that's what i'm working on now reach in there as far as i can eventually i'll have to get up in there but until then and we just go down this edge Oh, about every foot. We definitely want it to be quiet up here. You know, when the boys are up here, because they're going to be on their knees most of the time up here, because we don't have much of a, uh, much of a head height up here. So, let's see. Did I get one? Let's see, one in there. Let's go ahead and, now yeah, I already put one in there. Okay. So now I think it's slide on down a little bit farther. All right. Let me move my ladder. Okay. here Let's get you guys away where you guys can see and I've already got one started here I'm gonna go up in here and put another one hmm why do I feel like it didn't hit and that didn't hit did I mark it wrong I think I did huh can I go up and nope I wonder why I put a mark there. Huh. Well, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I do know. Because that are the ones... Those are the ones up here. Okay, I got it. I got it now. I got it. Yeah, I've seen it draw that one down. And I've seen it draw that one down. Now we'll go over here on each one of these. And I'll show you here in a minute. We got to add some bracing in here. And we didn't know where this is going to end up at. And I didn't worry about it at the time. And now I'm going to worry about it. Because this is where they get up in here. So I want that to be extremely, extremely uh screwed down 
and braced. Mostly braced. All right. So now let me get over here on the ladder and I'll find me a pencil real quick and tape measure. I see the tape measure, I see a pencil. Good. I didn't actually see the pencil, the pencil was in my ear. Okay, so I'll show you right here what we're doing. Peekaboo. All right, let's get that drill out of your way. So, as you can see right here, my floor is going to be matched here to another piece. And I want that to be able to be stable there. So we're gonna run brake cross braces in here so it doesn't sag from here to here. Which it won't, but we're just gonna do it just for extra measurements, I think. Um, yeah. All right, so let me get up here where I can actually read the tape measure. Hello, how's everybody doing? Uh, 10 and 3 quarter. So this in here is going to be 10 and 3 quarter. And I'll make that mark there. Then I'll mark, measure this one. Six and a half. And I'll mark it to here. Six and a half. And then we will go down a step. And we will look at this one at 10 and a quarter. All right, so now I'll go down and I'll cut those. I'll get those installed in here. And then we'll get another piece of floor cut for here. Then all we've got left to do is this little piece right here. That when it comes up, and it's braced really, really, really good. I might have to cut a little piece to go in here. Let me go ahead and measure for that. Four and three quarter. So I'll go ahead and put four and three quarter. And we'll cut all four of these. I'll get these installed and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, let me take a minute to show you what I did. I put braces in here. And there's a wide two by four on the bottom that holds these here in there really well. And these here I just kind of sink a screw in and from down here I was able to put one in the end so and then I did this one right here um, let me get you this one right here so we got a nice solid platform to put on so now we will get this I'm just gonna make this in two pieces um, I've already got my measurements for this first one over here so we'll go get that done and then we'll get it installed and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I got this piece here cut. Get it over here. Hopefully. I'd lie if I told you I hadn't already pre thought this out and pre measured and everything and fit it, and I did. All right, so let's go grab some screws here. And you guys don't need to watch this. Uh, I'm just gonna screw it down. That's it. And then you guys can um, follow me along and we'll get this piece, this piece replaced or placed or whatever you wanna call it. Ha uh ha. -huh. All right. So I think we got that. I'm trying to get everything down and out of here right now. I gotta get the shop back up here later on and clean up. So here's what I ended up doing. As you can see, I put this piece here in. Now, yeah, I did splice a little piece over here in the corner. Uh, it goes all the way down the edge. Hey, at the price of materials nowadays, you gotta cut a corner where you can cut a corner. So there it is. Got to uh, get it all vacuumed up out here. And I still have to screw this leading edge right here down, which I'll do that when I get up there to vacuum. So, this room is ready for wiring, or this loft, I guess I should say. So, let me get you guys down here. All right, so unfortunately, we've reached the end of this video. Um, that's all ready for electrical up there. I've got one other video that'll come out, well, two other videos. Next, we've got to do Colton's side uh, and get his floor finished. 
And then we have to go, I don't really know how to explain it. It's something to end this end wall with. So we'll have to get that done and then we'll be doing electrical. So if you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, like and subscribe. And once you've subscribed, smash that bell notification, go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that I publish or post. And share us on your social media pages. Follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And remember that when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It does not cost a dime. It's 100% free. It just helps our channel grow the same way a thumbs up helps our channel grow. With all that being said, hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we will see you guys on the next video. And I may be getting closer and I may be back in the shed to house working, but I'm still my own cameraman, which means I got to get up close and personal and gently poke you guys in the ear to turn this thing off. With that being said, I hope you guys have a super great day and we'll see you on the next video or next live stream. And please, please, please be safe.